everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video has been a highly requested brand review. So I have five products here that I'm going to do a demo of. I have like a bare face, so I'm gonna go through all the products, give you my thoughts. And the brand is Westman Atelier. It's Gucci Westman, she's like a celebrity makeup artist. She came out with her own line. And yeah, so I picked up five products. And the feedback that I got from any of you that use this line has been that you are obsessed with the line, you love it, you're crazy for it, and I do not like it. I was almost gonna title this video Unpopular Opinion Review because do you ever, have you ever tried a product that everyone's raving about, everyone seems to love, and it doesn't work for you, and you realize, is there something wrong with me? That is 100% how I felt. Um, I don't dislike everything, but for the price point, I'm, I'm not a fan overall. Um, nothing wowed me that much. There was one product in particular that I really dislike. So let me jump into it. Let me do um, a demo of everything and let's get started. I'll talk you through everything and, and my thoughts on it all. So I picked up the foundation. I got the shade, um, I don't even know. What is the shade? I'll write it below. Now, it's a stick foundation and it's a pretty decent um, shade match for me um, if I'm gonna be self tanning, which I have been doing much more. So I, I do like the shade. It is definitely more of a formula for someone with normal to normal to dry skin. My skin is more normal to combination, so it's a little too dewy. It is gonna give you that like, gorgeous, fresh face finish, like you've just had a facial, um, and which is nice. It gives decent coverage. I don't think it, that it's sheer, and it's not medium, it's like medium sheer. So yeah, that's, uh, that's that. It, you know, it definitely got shinier throughout the day, but that's just because I'm normal to combination. I believe that if you are normal or normal to dry, this is gonna be perfect for you. Um, it's, it's nothing spectacular. I didn't feel like the finish was like groundbreaking. I, I wasn't like, oh, it makes my skin look amazing. It's nice. It's pricey though. And a lot of times, there are a lot of foundations I have that like were jaw dropping for me and were a lot less expensive. So it's, it's nice. It's not amazing. Okay. Uh, let's move on to the product that I absolutely did not get and like. The iPods. Okay, um, whoops. Let me explain what I did not like. So they're like magnetized, which is kind of cool. They all stay together. Um, I, I'll show you the shade. I got like the more neutral three pack. Um, here's my first issue. <clears throat> if you notice, the product is not flush with the top. And the problem with that is, when you go to put your brush in, it's a it kind of like you have to put your brush at an angle. So if the product was flush to the top, you could just smooth and glide your brush around it. You kind of have to angle it. Um, listen, it's these are not major, like, oh my gosh, Mary, you're being really picky. I, I know I'm being picky, but it was enough of an issue for me where I was like, I don't, I don't like this. Now, if the product was fantastic, Fine, I'll jump through the hoops. Um, and even have to put my finger in it, it's kind of like, I, I, no, I'm not here for it. Uh, the three shades that I got, let me just do a quick swatch of them and I will show you the, the colors. Okay, here is the best that I could do. It's like a dark brown, there's a really orangey bronze and a shimmery white. Okay. That is a combination that I was kind of like, huh, that's all right. Um, I didn't really use many of the colors together. So 
the dark brown was a little too dark for me. I mean, I guess it could be used as a nice liner. The white, a shimmery white, to be honest, it's very rare that many people can wear that kind of shade. So that was like, meh. And then the bronze one is so orange. So let's begin. Um, I'm not using any primer, but I did try a primer. First off, as I am putting the color on the lid, it is not gliding on the way, it's a little patchy, I will say. It doesn't glide on the way, like even as I'm like swiping it over here, it, I have to take a few kind of passes at it to really um, get it smooth. Like right now, I don't know if you can see, there's like some patchiness around there. I've tried with my finger as well, and you know, I, I, not to like toot my own horn, but I have been in the makeup business for, you know, 10 years, if not more. So I mean, I am familiar with putting on makeup and techniques and all that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I can literally, there's like a little empty patch down here and a little one over there. I, I couldn't understand it. Um, second, it's orange flat out orange on my lid. Not my shade. Um, okay. So, you know, I kind of, I, like I said, I use my fingers. I used a brush for the price point. I'm, it's not wowing me. So that's the first, that's just like a, in a long list of issues. Like I said, I don't like the packaging. I feel like it's really hard to use. I think the colors, the three colors are odd and I feel, um, like the actual quality of the sh shadows don't blend that well compared to, I don't know, like really inexpensive eyeshadows that I have. Um, so there we go. Let me finish my brows and mascara and then we'll move on to the other products, which were pretty much all face that I have. Okay, I finished my brows and mascara. One of my brows is a little wonky because I'm like looking at a weird angle. Anyway, moving on. I picked up the cheek tint and then the highlighter stick and then there's like a it's called like a super loaded highlighter i think super loaded tinted highlight right, let's first start let's start with the highlighter stick i got the shade lit up highlight stick um i will write all the shades down below because i don't i don't know oh wait i think it's the color lit <laughs> uh, this is really this is nice um it it gives, it's very emollient. I like the, the shade, especially if you have dry skin, this will be quite nice. Um, it's a little opalescent, but it gives like that fresh look on the cheeks. Um, it's not like an Instagram highlight. This is, you've had a great facial sort of thing. Nice, nice. <laughs> And once again, I like, I didn't really dislike this product, but like I said, for the price point, I mean, I have highlighters that are like below my mind for a much lesser price point. So, um, like I said, I liked it. Uh, I don't often gravitate towards cream highlights. My Charlotte Tilbury one though is a cream and that's bomb. It is. I love it. This does stay a little tacky. And emollient. So, like I said, for drier skin, I really think it's gonna be a good one. The loaded highlight in the shade Po de Rose. <clears throat> it's a it's a powder. Um, is it it like looks like a powder, feels like a cream. It, nice. Um it is it's okay. I um it is quite pink, the color. So when I was kind of like using it on my cheek bone here, um, I was like, mm, I feel like it's a little too pink for my cheekbone. Like I, I like more of like a champagne or like a pearl highlight. Um, I mean, this is not even, let me try to use my finger. Okay, here, oh, there we go. It's not even like picking up on the brush. Um, once again, very, very emollient. This is gonna be great for those with more dry skin. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, 
This does have some glitter in it. Straight up glitter. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I really, I, I'm at a loss for words because you know when something is so hyped up, you're like, I'm sitting down, I'm ready, I'm holding on to my brain because my mind is going to be blown. So it was hard because I kept trying the products over and over again and every time I was like, I gotta try it again. I'm missing something. And you know, at the end of the day, everyone has their own opinion and, and sometimes, like I said, People love a product and you may be like, I don't like it. I'm like out in left field here. And that's the way it is sometimes. And that was me 100% with the line. I just, um, maybe for the price point was like maybe half what it is. I'd be like, all right, that's kind of nice. I don't like how tacky it is. Um, it stays quite emollient and tacky, not my jam. This really has some glitter in it. And to be honest, there are so many beautiful highlighters out there that don't have glitter. Um, so yeah. All right. Blush. I got the shade Petal. Very beautiful. Very emollient once again. Um, great if you have dry skin uh, because it does, it is emollient. It is going to stay, I feel like it stays quite tacky on the skin. It, it's, it's nice. I don't, um, I didn't want it to be so emollient. <laughs> like, like, okay, now we've got a problem. All my little brush hairs are sticking to it. Um, I don't want it to be so emollient. Like, for example, I, I don't use a ton of cream cheek products, but the ones that I do use, I love. Charlotte Tilbury highlighter, the Tarte Cream Bronzer. I know it's like blasphemous just to even mention, let's say, Tarte in the same, you know, sentence as Westman Atelier. But it is what it is. Like I, that formula is unbelievable. It is cream, but it literally floats on the skin, blends beautifully, kind of dries down to this naturally beautiful, soft velvety finish. Um, and it works amazing for me. So, I mean, I, I like what I like. If something is from Elf, I'm gonna, you know, and I like it more. That's just, it is what it is. Um, so, I definitely think a lot of her cream products are, if you have very oily skin, I don't think they're gonna be a hit for you. If you have combination skin, mm, I still think it's gonna be a tough one. I think if you have normal skin, normal to dry skin, it's gonna be your jam. Okay. <laughs> uh, first of all, I mean, the eyeshadow color is, it's not me. Now, I tried to put the white on top. I was like, all right, I'm gonna put the white on top. It's gonna change it up. And I was like, first of all, okay, like I'm trying to get product with this brush here. Okay, um, all right, it's like not, it's, it's hard to even pick up product. The iPods are so disappointing to me, so disappointing. And I really have, I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop like going on and on. Uh, okay, and then I'm gonna do a little bit on my lips because you can use it, the cheek on the, Tint on the lips. Nice. Okay. You know, two in one. Great. <laughs> Here we go. So that that's every, everything. That's everything that I tried. Um, like I said, overall, it was a big miss for me. I did not like, I didn't find any of the products like, okay, I can, I can kind of like make that work. I was like, mm, I am not a fan of any of them. And so the packaging is stunning. It's so chic, so fabulous, but that's great. I mean, I'm a packaging junkie. I love great packaging, but it's not enough. So what's inside is just not compelling enough for me. So that's it. Those are my thoughts. Um, like I said, I probably have a huge unpopular opinion, but I would love to hear if you've used the line, what you love from the line and your experience with trying the products. Um, if you've ever purchased anything, uh, how you use some of the products, like if you use the iPods, how do you use them? With a finger, with a brush, do you find that they're patchy? I don't know. I'd love to hear everyone's um, feedback like a little bit more in depth because like I said, most people were just like, oh, I love it. And I'm like, great. And now I'm like, what do you love about it? Explain it to me. So um, I will link everything that I talked about down below. 
as well as the shades that I use, because like I said, I couldn't find some of them on them, on the bottoms of them. But I'll link all the shades that I use, and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.